Welcome back guys to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today I want to talk about a few breakthrough technologies that I believe will bring about the next generation of VR. And they involve technologies that revolutionize the way you see through a VR headset and the way you interact and feel objects in the virtual world. So without further ado, let's jump into the next generation. The first VR technology I'd like to discuss is Facebook's wrist haptic feedback that they're working on, which allows for very precise finger tracking and haptic feedback is one of their goals. So the way it works is instead of traditional hand tracking that relies on computer vision cameras, this uh, technology senses the neural signals coming from your brain and knows what your intentions are with your hands before you even perform the action. This allows for very precise hand tracking and they're also working on a haptic feedback device called TASB. TASB uses squeezing and vibrations in order to uh, imitate haptic feedback when you interact with objects. But unlike uh, haptic gloves, for example, um, this uses a phenomenon called sensory substitution, which means when you interact with objects, your brain takes all of those senses and combines it into one sensation. So when it imitates that one sensation, it can get you to experience very precise details. Now this is pretty exciting news because imagine having these wrist haptic feedbacks on other parts of the body, like the legs, the um, stomach. Uh, you can put these bands on probably the whole body and, and have haptic feedback uh, imitate your whole body. The next exciting technology I'd like to talk about is the C-Real Light Field Display Technology, which allows for almost human eye resolution and eliminates many of the problems that VR is currently experiencing. So I will show you a couple clips to demonstrate. Have you noticed that when you look at your finger with one eye, it appears sharp, while everything else is blurred, like me, here. But when your focus changes, you can see me. Hello. And the finger is blurred. Now imagine, you take smart glasses, like this, which project virtual images into your eyes and fuse them with the reality. Let's try that. And you know what? The virtual objects should blur in the same way like the real ones. They should, but they don't today. This is wrong. This is what leads to an eye strain, which you perhaps know from the virtual reality and maybe 3D cinema today. We make it right. We make classes which project so-called light field Light field makes it right. Light field is the future of virtual reality. So this is the VR prototype that they built, and it uses two displays per eye. One of the display is a near human eye resolution, which covers um, the middle of the view. And then there is a lower resolution display, which fills the periphery. And with this headset, you are able to focus in infinite depth, unlike current VR headsets, which use a fixed depth uh, of focal use. This eliminates the common issues of VR, such as eye strain and uh, VR motion sickness and stuff like that. And what really helps is that the displays are running at 240 Hertz and they have made improvements to the technology so that the rendering demand is close to the rendering of normal VR headsets. Now their goal is to make this technology available in smaller size sometime by the end of 2022, they plan to license the technology most likely to existing VR companies. So you might see this technology pop up in your favorite VR headsets in the near future. Now I will show you a video that they released demonstrating the technology in VR headset, but uh, you will see some areas that are blurry. They say that this is just the camera and that in real life you don't notice the blurry areas as much as the limitations of a camera would. 
Another great thing about this technology is since it uses light field, it is able to create custom uh, eye prescriptions for people so that they don't need to wear glasses. Imagine how great that would be for VR headsets. So overall, I think these technologies will bring about the next generation of VR in about two to three years at minimum. But it's very exciting and um, this will really help VR to become more mainstream. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.